down in spring. Oh. Every other time of year that I grow them, there'll always be a warm day and they just seem to bolt, but started this year that I grow them from about March, in autumn into winter. That's beautiful. Two solid cabbages. I might just see how the others are just after the, the cold. It doesn't matter if they're, it's just like them being in a crisper in the snow like this. So they survive well in the cold. My hands don't though. So I'm gonna go inside and make some kimchi. That mist is finally lifting off. Well, I am also descending into the gorge too. Really deprived myself a bit of trout this year. So, June long weekend, I've got one day off. I'm gonna exploit it to the max. Mind you, we've had heaps of snow. Heaps of snow the last couple of days. Didn't really stay on the ground. It's funny, it can be very deceptive in terms of moisture content. You think, oh, what a huge dump, but it's actually not the equivalent of even a mild rain sometimes. Depends on how much came, but a lot of it melted off. That's the kind of cold, water flows, elevated water flows that we need to bring some brown trout up into the streams, but at the same time, it could make it pretty milky. I don't know, you gotta be in it to win it. You gotta have a crack. Hmm. Yeah, that's pretty damn milky. Mind you, you can see enough. That shallow stuff. I'm having a crack anyway. I'm down here, may as well. There he is! Oh, come on! Yes! Brown trout! Big brown trout! Oh! I covered a bit of river. Nothing was happening. We need for about an hour. I had a few cars, I wasn't even gonna film it. They're big! And they're moving. I'm gonna play it cool. Because I can feel myself getting that whole excited thing, but those are big brown trout! Now, absolutely not the big one of the two I saw go up. Because there's an absolute monster in there. That's very targetable. I'm onto it. Well, I was just there, come across the rapid, and I'm in that big hole because it's quite deep. And I don't think, well, I would have noticed them spawning up that chute because it would have been quite an effort for them to get up. Um, although they will get up, I just thought I'm going to give this hole a go again first. Yeah, I've seen it. I've seen the fish. I've seen the fish right up against it. Um, that little beaver dam there, maybe the fan saw it too. Mm. I'm not sure if it turned up in the camera or not, but look, I feel like my best bet is just to almost piss it off a bit, you know, just make it cranky, just get it in their face, just that orange colour in their face, and you might just get an aggression, aggression swipe or the cheapest, easiest feed when they're not really focusing on food. But there's a nice fish in there. Just there. Fish. Oh, oh, fish, fish, stay on, stay on, oh, downstream, downstream, yes, yes. I got him, I got him, 
Oh, that was a scramble. I tell you what. But you know what? It was worth it. Settle, 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 settle. It's okay. It's okay. Oh my goodness. Ha ha! Brown trout! My God. Yes! Oh, I'm shaking because I've already lost one. Oh, hey Brownie. Look folks, that fight was pretty intense and I had him underneath a log for ages. I decided to whack him on the head because it's an amazing fish to take. And here's the thing, there are so many fish up this, this stretch. And we have an abundance of spawning fish. I have no problem knocking him on the head. I'm just so damn happy. That's just... Oh, you know, especially when you've lost a couple. And you know, Tasmania, damn it, that was hard fishing. That was damn hard fishing. And this is just made up for it. In the local streams of the Central West and expanded surrounds. Can't believe how beautiful it is. This is just the most brown trouty brown trout I've fucking seen in ages. Oh. Good times. Oh, well, that's been a wonderful morning of it. It really did shut down a bit um, when the sun got a bit higher in the sky. Yeah, they just seemed to stop and go to the bottom of the pools where I couldn't see them. But, you know what, for milky water, that was some pretty great sight fishing. I've got to hightail it out of here. I've got an appointment to be at. But, um, you know, for a quick morning of it, one day off, that's what I call success. Beautiful. Now I'm not filleting this fish, I'm just opening it up so that when I add some cure into his, which is one part salt, two parts sugar. And this way, because if you just put it on the outside, there's just such a thick skin membrane that it's not going to sink in, so I'll just get my hands into all of that. And I'm going to spread it evenly through the back there. And that's really going to sink in that way. Well, that's a pretty incredible end result. Just pulled a little strip off and I just <laughs> can't attest to the flavor highly enough. And that was, you know, I kept that temperature under 100 degrees for most of it. It slipped up a few times. Um, oh, it's dripping on the floor. I'm going to stop that now. But, hey, it's, it's amazing. Well, folks. There's a pack and a rifle, four days ahead of me, a massive, massive chunk of range, all native hardwood. That's called pure freedom. I just can't wait to get stuck right into it. And look, yeah, I'm, four days, three nights out is what I've got planned. I had a whole bunch of routes planned as well, but now that I've got here, it's always good to have a plan in the back of your head, but I'll almost certainly just follow my nose and then uh, and just cruise it. Look. I've been on the edge of this country twice before, just short day trips, and obviously that's um, wet my whistle, so to speak, got me excited. Um, on both those times I shot something, and one time I shot a goat, the other time I shot a little pig, 
and that was good. I'm a little bit cold right now, but I'm going to stay cold because I know that once I'm walking, I'll warm up. Well, it's great to have so much time ahead of me, but in terms of just my first day, I've really only got an afternoon. I um, just started working my way down a ridge line, and it's on the cold side of things, so being on the cold face in winter, well, well I'll find out what that means. Um, but this ridge has a few little saddle points in it. It's been raining lots, so there's just feed everywhere, um, which can really spread critters out. But on the other side of this creek line here, and I'll probably be camping on the creek somewhere further down, water source, nice place for a fire, etc. Um, I'll be able to glass across the valley. Well, that didn't take long. Literally been walking for five minutes and I wasn't expecting to see a deer up. Old, but it's something. Right down there in that bend. That's my goal for the afternoon. I've got to get there. That's where I want to camp. What do you sign? exciting. Uh, it's still all that kind of four month oldy stuff which means that I'm almost certain it's red in this kind of country. I'm on a little honey hole here. I'm going to be giving this area a lot of attention in the future. That's cool. That's not so old. I think as you can see from behind me, and up that way, I'm not camping down here. And um, actually thinking that if I don't go too far, I can rely on this as my little water spot. And I might actually be able to find somewhere to camp, just a little ledge maybe. Um, because there's a saddle up there. sunset. It feels like a sunrise. Look at that. Oh. It's about 7.30, a little later than I planned, but that was actually a good night's sleep. A few little dew drops, doesn't matter. I had a crew to visit me, I don't know, a couple of hours before dawn. I'm not sure what it was, it was a possum, it could have been a quoll. I threw a rock at it anyway and it left me alone. Oh, coffee time and hiking time. Hunting time.
well that's good you know it was a bit of a frantic start to getting out here the few things that I stuffed up gear wise at home didn't get away till after midday you know I had a good night's sleep under the stars and cloud so that was good um, I've seen a lot of game sign in less than 24 hours I tell you what shit there's been some deer sign including right here so obviously like I had my plan I know where I want to camp tonight which is not a short distance from here but I'm gonna prioritize finding some animals and this this being pig sign this being goat sign oh my goodness this is deer pig and goats what more do you want out of a state forest well Absolutely fresh. Last night, I'd say. It'll have to happen eventually. Just been waiting on this little. There's a gully. And just the main valley. I'm here grunting. So I'm 99% sure a good pig's coming my way. Better to set up. That one came left of field. It's not the one I was filming before in the Lamantra grass. You could hear them oinking, which means that they were talking to each other. And they just talked to themselves. A little bush pig. Very similar to the one in size that I took back in February, much further up this system, right in the fringe country. And from the side, I can see there's a few about. I'm going to knock the legs off this little, little one and do my best to keep it over the next couple of nights. I'll try and keep it outside my tent overnight, just to, it'll probably freeze, hopefully, if it doesn't get snatched by something. Um, if I see more pigs, I still feel like I should shoot them, even though I probably can't carry them out. And that's just environmental stewardship, basically. You know, if this is very remote country. I don't know anyone who's gone hunting in here. I'm sure there's been a couple. Time's always been a little bit of a pressure on this trip. That's because I'm covering a lot of ground, but clearly it's worth it. If I see a few more of them, well, I'll pull the trigger on them. But I want to get out and over into the whole next system. This up just in time. It started raining. Against the weather person's predictions. Oh. <laughs> well, back on it again. I said I'd stay two nights here, but I'm just 
from that walk up the creek. Absolutely not enough to keep me interested. But it's fine, I'm just I'm asking myself all the questions about what's different about that system, um, just the lay of the land and things like that, access from other people. Not that I saw any um, dead carcasses or anything down there, so yeah. Jeez, I've done some walk in this trip, but it's good. It's good for the legs, it's good for the body and mind and soul.